This After Effects tutorial is made possible by Nitrosum. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. As summer is around the corner, I thought of creating a really nice summer colorful slideshow in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's hop in in After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition and let's rename the comp to main. 1920 by 1080 60 fps you can also use 30 fps if you want to 10 seconds should be good enough and hit ok so the first thing that i'm going to do is use the video so for the video i'm going to create a new composition and let's call this media hit ok and drag the video into the media comp now you can select any part or section of your video so i'm going to select maybe something of a different color so maybe something like that this looks interesting so i'll use this section and let's go into the main comp and drag the media composition into the main composition just like that now let's go ahead and start animating this section so let's go to one second and 30 frames and hit p and hit s for the scale property create a keyframe hit r for the rotation property and create a keyframe and then hit U so we can see both the keyframes go back in time at the very beginning and I'm going to scale this up to around 100 or maybe 800 percent and let's rotate this to around 180 degrees so we have this really simple animation let's go ahead and add a fast blur to this repeat edge pixels and let's increase this to around 20 percent create a keyframe go further in time and let's set this to zero let's select all the keyframes or so hit u again so we can see all the keyframes select the keyframes and hit f9 and go into the graph editor if your graph editor doesn't look like this make sure to right click and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph and let's select this point and drag the handle holding shift just like so so we have a really nice and fast motion you can see looking pretty cool and that is what i'm going for so now let's go ahead and select the lips tool and create a shape layer so let's create a circle just like that from the center and let's align this in the center and then i'm going to add a gradient ramp to this so let's go ahead and add gradient ramp let's swap the colors and I'm going to use a really nice colorful yellow maybe and for this I'll use a nice orange color and then I can select the points and drag it just like so and there we have it let's call this circle and let's go into ellipse 1 ellipse path 1 and create a keyframe on the size go back in time and let's increase the size really high just so that it covers up the complete composition just like that so we have this really interesting look and then what I can do is actually drag this keyframe a bit forward in time to maybe two seconds let's go right over here and drag this keyframe just like so so we have something like that let's see the main animation so pretty cool let's go into the main com and I'll go to right over here at 1 second and 30 frames drag this keyframe right over here and then go to around 2 second and 30 frames and drag this keyframe so now we have this really simple animation also I'm gonna bring down the opacity of this to around let's go with something like 75 or maybe let's go with 65 or something like that yep that looks better hit U so we can see the keyframes 
and create a keyframe right over here so hit t for the opacity hit u and go forward in time and let's increase the opacity to around 85 or something like that yep that looks good let's select all the keyframes and hit f9 go into the graph editor and just like we did before i'm going to select the point and drag them just like so but this time i'm going to create a peak into the center just like that so we have really interesting motion as you can see it starts slowly then it speeds up in between and then ends up slowly so we have this really nice animation as you can see there we go let's duplicate it by hitting ctrl d on the keyboard and drag the second layer bit forward in time let's select this and hit u so we can see all the keyframes actually so I just all right so go right over here and i'm going to increase the size a little bit just like so and let's add a venetial blinds to this so now I'll just type in maybe something like blinds venetial blinds and let's set this to somewhere around maybe 85 and this one really nice something like that and let's set this to 45 so we have this really nice look see pretty cool and now let's go ahead and animate our text so let's select the text tool and you can type in of course anything that you want i'm just going to type in amazing summer memories you can of course type in whatever that you want let's set this into the center and actually i'm going to call this summer and maybe bring down the size a bit so it fits into or inside the circle just like that let's duplicate this by hitting ctrl d on the keyboard and let's call this amazing oh make sure double click and let's call this amazing and i'm gonna hold shift and drag it onto the top and maybe i'll bring down the size just like so there we go you can also play around with the spacing and stuff like that let's hit ctrl d to duplicate it and bring this below and i'm going to call this memories all right so there we have our text so the first thing that i'm going to do is animate our center text so let's close everything just like so all right so right over here let's go select the summer text and i'm gonna hit s to bring down the scale properties so what i'm gonna do is go right over here create a keyframe on the scale property go forward in time maybe somewhere around there and let's set this to 150 go a few frames forward and let's set this to zero and the first keyframe to zero as well so we have this really simple animation actually i'm gonna set this one to 100 so we have something like that pretty lame let's also hit r to bring down the rotation properties create a keyframe hit u and set the rotation to around maybe eight degrees or maybe minus eight degrees go back in time let's set this to zero go forward in time and let's set this to zero so we have this really simple animation let's select all the keyframes and hit f9 go into the graph editor and i'm going to select this point and drag the handle holding shift to the left and drag this handle to the right so we should have an interesting animation as you can see for our text so this is looking actually very cool so i'll just you know maybe bring this a bit maybe a bit more a bit more i want to you know time it with the circle animation so i'm gonna just try something like that yeah that is looking much better as you can see very very nice and then right over here when it snaps in i'm gonna turn on the other two text and hit 
P to bring down the position properties and create a keyframe. And let's drag this keyframe a bit forward in time. Create one more keyframe. And let's select this text, bring this up, holding shift, just like that. Select this one and bring this down, holding shift, just like that. So we have this really cool animation. Let's select the keyframes and hit F9. Go into the graph editor and does it just like we did before. Drag the handle to the left and now we have this really cool kind of a snapping text effect I'll say. So something like that as you can see it snaps in and the other two text comes out. Pretty cool. Now let's go right over here and select the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a track mat for the two text. So let's create maybe a shape just like that and let's align it into the center. There we go. Maybe I'll just scale this a little bit and then I'm going to call this M for mat and let's change the track mat to alpha inverted and that is not working the way I want it to work. So let's, oh, yep, that is working absolutely fine. Actually, I'm going to duplicate this again. Hit control D, bring this on the top of the other text and change the track mat to alpha inverted and there we have it. Pretty cool. Maybe I can also select the scaling property and you can play around with this. So, you know, keep it somewhere around there maybe. And let's see what we have. As you can see, it's looking very, very nice. Now let's go ahead and add some accent to the complete animation. So to do that, I'm going to select the pen tool and let's set the stroke to around maybe 15 pixels should be good and also turn on the title action safe and from the center I'm going to hold shift and create a stroke just like that and let's call this line let's go ahead and add a trim part to this and now we can animate the stroke just like that so let's go somewhere around here set this to zero create a keyframe go forward in time set this to 100 and let's go right over here create a keyframe on the start property go right over here and let's set this to 100 so now we have something like that pretty lame at the moment so let's select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and, and again let's drag the handle to the left so now we have something like that as you can see maybe I'll display this a bit more so it snaps in right over here I guess yep that is looking pretty good maybe just play around with the timing a bit yep pretty nice also one more thing that I want to do is go into the shape one and go into the stroke set this from line cap to actually set this from bud cap to rounded cap so we have this rounded edges for the stroke and then let's go ahead and add a repeater. Maybe I'll make eight copies and go into the transform repeater one, set the position to zero and I'm going to set the rotation to 360 divided by eight. So now we have this really cool looking accent as you can see. Looks really interesting and the best part is that I can use this accent in different ways as well. So I can duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D on the keyboard. Go right over here. And let's go scale this down a bit. And let's place it somewhere around there. So now let's hit U and maybe I'll play around with the timing a bit. So let's see. Perfect. As you can see for our text, we get this really nice pop-up accent. So let's select this, hit Ctrl D and I'm going to place it one more right over here and let's see what we have. There we go. So let's preview this pretty quick. So as you can see there we have a really nice looking summer slideshow animation. You can use this as a promo, as an intro for your cool summer videos 
Now to make it look really advanced, what you could do is you can use some preset from the video library. So let's say if I use maybe some really nice colorful preset to make it look more advanced. So what I could do is let's select this one maybe and make sure the time indicator is at the beginning and hit on apply. So it will take few seconds to load up the compositions and there we go. We get this really interesting look. So if I just hide all the animation that we created and I'm going to just use this one. Let's maybe turn on the text and there we go looking really really cool so you can make your you know slide animations look really interesting so maybe if I delete this and let's use some other animations so we can use this really nice bursting color effect kind of a thing so I'll place it somewhere around there and there you can see we have a really interesting look so I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check out the video library from Nitrosum. It has some really amazing presets and animation. So as you saw, it's really interesting and it's really simple to use. I have already created a complete review video on it. So make sure to check it out. I'll provide the link down in the description below. And yep, that is all. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, make sure to subscribe, comment and like. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching guys. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.